Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at the Dan Wesson 6 inch revolver in black. Now my first impressions about this pistol is that it's just so damn realistic. It's designed to simulate as close to a real steel revolver as possible, down even to the weight it's 2.25 pounds. Uh, granted, a revolver is going to be slightly heavier than this. Thankfully, though, the weight in this 6-inch model is well distributed, so it's not as front-heavy as you might worry about. Now, the weight of this gun is down to the fact that, for the most part, it's a full metal construction. The only thing that isn't metal is the pistol grip, which is a rubberized plastic and actually splits in two to reveal the CO2 capsule that powers the gun. This pistol comes in two different colours. There is this kind of satin black effect. It's kind of not quite metallic, but not quite matte black. But it's not blue, like a lot of real steel revolvers are. And then there is also the kind of polished stainless steel look. Not quite chrome, not too shiny. But very nice silver finish, which I actually think I prefer out of the two of them. As you can see on the 6-inch barrel, we have a Dan Wesson trademark, as well as ASG Cal 6mm BB. And this is important. When you're buying a Dan Wesson pistol, because they are CO2, they also come in uh, metal BB sizes, which is a smaller size and it's much more dangerous. So when you're buying this, if you're buying this, pay attention to which model you're getting, either the Airsoft or the BB gun. It has an adjustable rear sight, which adjusts both windage and elevation. And it has a fixed front sight with a white dot painted on it, so you can match up the rear and front sight easier. However, my particular pistol, the white dot is painted just slightly off center, making everything just a little bit off. It's not a big deal, but it's one of those things that you notice and it just, every time you see it, you see that issue. Now the trigger system in this pistol is both single and double action. And for those of you that don't know what that means, a double action pistol means that you don't have to pull back the hammer and it will do it automatically if you just pull the trigger. That's a two action. A single action means that you have to pull back the hammer in order to fire. Speaking of hammer, this one is solid. You can really feel the mechanics behind it when you pull it backwards and cause that cylinder to rotate. It's it's just that it feels really nice. Leading actually quite nicely onto the full metal cylinder, which houses six individual shot shells, just like a real revolver. I mean, talk about realism. This thing has really got it down. You use the multifunction safety to eject the cylinder. You pull it back and the gun is on safe. But if you push it forward, it ejects the cylinder from the housing. From there, you can either use the plunger to push the shells out, or you can just do what most people do, which is tip them out into your hand. Then it's a case of loading them all in as you would a real revolver. Something kind of satisfying about it. The only thing I want to mention is to refrain from doing that Hollywood spin, you know, where you spin the cylinder and then try and flick it in. It's not going to work because it's such a tight fit and it actually can cause damage to your gun. Now, as I've mentioned, this is a CO2 powered pistol and not a green gas powered pistol, which means that this is going to kick a lot harder. Of course, it's not going to have any recoil, but the muscle velocity is going to be way too hot to use in a skirmish. If you want to use it in a skirmish, you're going to have to purchase some power down shells. And what that does is it restricts the amount of gas going through the shells and brings that FPS back down to a reasonable limit. Using the power down shells, this gun kicks out an average of 265 feet per second. Because it's only a six shot pistol, in order to fill the shells with more BBs, it's a simple case of ejecting them and pushing a BB into the end where it will click in comfortably. As I've mentioned, the CO2 capsule is stored in the pistol grip, which slides apart and flips up like so. To install a new one, unscrew the plastic tab, which will release the CO2 from its pressurized state and then you can remove it and enter a new one and then tighten it up again. It's really straightforward and actually you get a ton of shots from this tiny little capsule. It's amazing just how much there is inside it. Now the only real con I have with this pistol beyond that little imperfection with the sight is actually this pistol grip. The two halves, they pull apart far too easily for me. So if I'm reaching out and pulling it out but at the wrong angle, this pistol grip's just gonna slide right off and be a right pain in the backside. So, this is a very realistic replica for any revolver collectors out there. I'm not entirely sure just how usable it is 
on the airsoft field purely because it's only a six shooter and let's face it most of us like to shoot a lot more than that but you never know for smaller more purpose-built games could have a lot of fun with it so that is my review on the six inch barrel black dan wesson revolver are you like me? Do you have a soft spot for revolvers? Are you going to get one? Do you have one already? And if you don't have the Dan Wesson, what is it that you've got? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. It really does help. And share this with someone that likes Airsoft. But for now, until next week, take it easy.